and that is how the ruffians managed to best me. Haha, <laughs> they are strong, to be sure, very strong. Dare I say, they might be strong enough to defy the prophecy. Spare Count Black your theatrics. The light prognostic is his false. The dark prognostic is holds the answer to eliminating the heroes that rise to stop us. Oh my, that's the first time that morsel of information has touched my ears, do tell. Bleh, in due time, Dementio, in due time. Oh, Nastasia, it is, it's time we set him on these pests. Yeah, um, I can take care of that for you, Count. Lovely, exclaimed Count Black. Return to your posts, my dear minions. As you command, Count. Hail Black! Um, does something trouble you, Nastasia? Yeah, Count, you know, there's still time. You can still change your mind. That is enough, Nastasia. We've already come this far, so we shall forge on. But you needn't stay by Count Black's side. You can depart with my blessing. Um, no, my Count. I, I won't be doing that. My life is already sworn to you. Yeah, it's belonged to you since the day you saved me. I'll be sticking it out with you till my game ends, okay? If that pleases you. My, my, how interesting. Nastasia and the Count have such deep conversations. Hmm. Just what is our dear Count playing at? Ah oh, well, I'll let him worry about that. I must attend to my own projects. Timpani, Timpani, why? Why do you avoid me? Ow, ow, unhand me! Huh? You're crying? Why? Timpani, you must tell me what has happened. It's, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Just forget it. Oh no, oh no. Timp me. Is my father behind this? I, I'm just an ordinary girl. No matter how much I love you, m we must part. Timpany, I... This is goodbye, Blumiere. There is no other choice. This is our fate. That was a little weird for a while, but we seem to have gotten through it, okay? I'm so sorry. It was all my fault. And then, you all... Thank you so much. <laughs> Wanna know how to thank me, Bugface? Just stay out of my way, okay? Say, come to think of it, Bowser, could you be our third hero? Ho there! I've been waiting for you, young heroes. Did you succeed in your search for the next pure heart? I guess we did. <laughs> oh, my hand! <laughs> it has a glove on it, I just noticed. Intriguing. So then, when you saved Tippy, the next pure heart just appeared? Hmm, how very interesting. I think that that castle was once a dwelling of the ancients I told you of earlier. It seems that my ancestors have roamed far and wide in their dimensional travels. In the castle beyond the Great Sea, we hid a pure heart and sealed it, sa uh, sealed it safely. Yes, I remember reading such a passage in the Light Prognosticus. The seal could only have been broken by a powerful pulse of love and trust. So, you think it was because Tibby began to trust us that we found this pure heart? That's amazing! And now there are three heroes, a hall. I don't know who the last one is, but waste no time in searching, my friends. Oh, please, come on, people. With me here, you don't need anybody else. Seriously. I mean, we need Carrie. She's she's kind of cool. Trust me. Any problem comes up, I'll stomp it in the next week. I'll Bowserize it. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, well met, Mr. Bowser. May your strength protect the... Oh, it's... <laughs> he says that a lot, man. Oh, ho. It seems that the void has expanded once more. Time is short. 
We have to keep going. We must start searching for the next heart pillar. There are matters I must attend to as well. I must search for any item of significance in the light prognosticus. I am Sean Connery. And I read books all the time. Uh, <laughs> hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and last time in Super Mario, we defeated Francis, and it was... <laughs> It was a very high technical episode, if I've ever seen one. This time, we're actually going to go back into this level, uh, because it leads to the Bitlands, and we want to go to Chapter 3-1. Because, if you recall, we met a certain someone that talked about uh, Francis, and if we manage to make it out of the castle, then we should go and see that character. I believe, if I recall correctly, that pixel is right behind that bush right there actually so let's go uh let's go say hi Hoo there it is that was easy i don't remember my oh yeah yeah, yeah. oh now you want to hear the three tips again just say the word what are you talking about i don't need any more stupid tips all right no more hints no way you defeated francis Whoa, 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 slow down. That is huge news. I am glad I could help with that daring mission to infiltrate the nerd lair. So, I guess there is no need for me to stay here and give out tips. I guess I have done my job. I have got nothing to do now. Oh, hey, how about I tag along with you guys? Well, I have made up my mind. I am coming along whether you want me to or not. Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. I'm my name's Barry, and I will follow you. <laughs> he's prickly, and he's joined our group. Use Barry to sp create a spiky barrier around you. There's plenty. There is plenty of dangerous types wandering around there. Let's stick together. It will be safer for us both that way. Okay. Um. So he just makes a. A shield. It doesn't seem that useful, actually. Like, I can't hold it. I can't do any action in it. Uh, actually, let's test it on an enemy real quick. I, I don't want to make a, a, a rash judgment about this thing. Enemy. Enemy. Okay, let's use it from above. Let's use it on him. Okay, it's it's all it's all right. I mean. It makes us invulnerable. Ooh, turtley leaf, hello. It makes us invulnerable, I guess, and it allows us to jump on top of sp Oh yeah, that's that's actually pretty good use. And in fact, it would probably help us kill Curseus because we're we're invulnerable. Okay, I can see I can see it having some uses. Um, but overall, if we want to jump on spiked enemies, I believe that carry works for that. Like <laughs> Power of the Cross all away all the way. She it protects us from spiked foes. And like dangers on the trail, she's really, really just better. Okay, but with that out of the way, let's go back to how do I do this? Um, items? No. Um, important things. There we go. The return pipe. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not. Nah. Yes. Okay, let's go back to flip side, and then we'll actually start this episode for real because. <laughs> In case you didn't know, the agenda for this episode is to find the pure heart, or the pure heart pillar, rather. Alright, let's see, uh, where to begin? I mean, we saw that, I remember last time we were here, we saw that weird, uh, we saw that weird crack in the wall, but we all, we had Boomer at that time, so I, I'm not sh actually sure where to go at this point. Um, let's see, once I get down here... I'm gonna take a look at my pixels again. Uh, so if anything, we're going to need Carrie or Thudley because Barry's an optional optional. I almost said Pokemon. He's a uh, he's an optional pixel. So Carrie or Thudley are who we're going to be using to uh, progress. So I'm guessing there's probably a spike pit around here. Uh, also, it's been it's been quite some time since we were in Flipside, so I'm gonna have to remember uh, where where we were when we found that thing. Um, it was this way, right? Because most of the heart pillars are kind of next to each other. So let's just go over here. Ow. Um, flip. 
go to that pipe over there, and there should be a spike pit somewhere. I'm just not sure where. Um, hmm. I, I, I really don't know. I don't know. I don't want this to be a repeat of the past couple episodes where I'm just wandering around for the entire duration. Um, try flipping. No. Well, I, al I already know that we are here, so can I destroy these? I can. Nice. So let's see, where, where would I possibly go? Oh yeah, also we got Bowser, so there might be something to burn. Wait a minute, wait a minute, this, this block. This block right here. Is this it? No. Um. Hmm. Let's, no, I'm not pressing that button. Let's switch over to Bowser here. We can't burn it. Okay. Um. Hmm. We used Slim to get over there. This I just don't see us using. Actually, let's let's examine this with Tippy because we have Tippy now. What is this? It's a red colored stone. Apart from the color, it just seems like another stone. All right, that's not helpful. Uh, let's go back through here. Actually, I'm. I want to do this. I want to figure this out on screen, and even if it is at the cost of boredom. Wait a minute, I saw something here. No, I didn't. I just saw a pipe. Okay, so it's not here. In fact, what even is this place? What what are these blocks? Um let's go over here. They're solid blocks. So I don't know what we're supposed to do about that. Looks like there are these weird pipes in the wall. Um Ooh, ooh, a shroom shake. Nice, okay. Let's jump over here, and I'm hoping that this will lead us to the place we're supposed to go. Haha! -ha! That was really fun. Jump over there, go through here. This led us to uh, the Pit of 100 Trials, right? Not the next location. Certainly! No, 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 we're not... No, we're not qualified to go through there. They're not asking us to do that, are they? I must get through as much of the light prognosticus as possible. Why, why do you linger here still? You must hurry to the next world. I... Ah, uh, uh, how do I do that, though? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, flip? No. Okay, my bet, my only hope at this point. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a pipe over here. I remember this clearly. Pipe? Haha. Um, how did I get up here? Did I just jump? I just jumped. Okay. Let's ground pound. And when I say ground pound, I mean bomb. But actually, this works too. Hiya! There we go. Overkill, yes, but I think that this is the way. Go through this pipe. There's the other heart pillar. Now, there has to be some place that I hadn't been able to go to before. So, in my sojourning to find the, uh, the heart pillar, I remembered that I actually didn't pay this guy to make a pipe again. Um, because I got a game over and it put me back before that happened. So, I guess I accomplished that now. Um, and I'm wondering maybe that's the key. It's not. Okay. My, my first thought was to go down, and I went down. I continued going down uh, until I couldn't go any further down, and that was not the key. It, um, it wasn't, sadly. And so now I'm wondering where to go. Uh, I could go back over here. I mean, I haven't gone here in a while. Um, there's a heart pill over here. This pipe really won't lead me anywhere. Um... Falling down here? No, that that's not the key. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, 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 Eight pillars, eight pillars, um, eight pillars total, each color once, right? Right? Pound these in. What does that do for us? These are eight pillars. Pound this in. Right? Oh, okay. 
So there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five total. What does that do? Are there more in 3D? No. That's odd. Huh. So there's a code. But what's the code? I don't know the code. Let's just try bringing them all up. That, that might be something we could do. Okay, they're all up. Um... Try this one down, this one down, this one down, uh, this one up, this one up, this one down, and this one down, that one down. Ha ha! I got the puzzle, guys! I have no clue if there was a, uh, oh, okay, I see. They're on the side there, and also there's the heart pillar. On the side of these these pegs are arrows. I did not notice that, but I, I just tried it until it worked, and it did. So there we go, heart pillar. That was actually really quick, so quick that I'm I'm considering either yeah, because there's gonna be a bunch cut out. So I'm probably just gonna jump into the first level if you guys don't mind. I mean, I'm going to stop and buy some uh, some items, but I don't feel comfortable leaving you with a. Uh, uh, 10 minute episode, so I'm gonna jump into the first level and we're going to complete the first level. Unless this is a wor the world I think it is, in which case I'll just end it there. But we're at least gonna see what the next world is, so let's go. Um, actually, let's use my item. Important things, return pipe. There we go, and I'll go buy some items, and then I will meet you in the next level. Or more specifically, at the door to the next level, because I am now fully rested up. The only thing I changed in my inventory was that I got one more shroom shake, and so with that, let's head into the level. I have no clue what this, what this level is, but we're going to find out together. Through the fierce battle against Francis, Tippy and the Mario gang grew closer. Behind the fourth door lay a whole new world that beckoned to them both. What awaited was vaster and stranger than anything they'd encountered so far. In order to claim the pure heart, they would have to endure new, far-out trials. Chapter 4-1 Into Space, Space, Space. All right, what is this new world gonna look like? Is it gonna be space because it's called space? It's space! I always imagined a brilliant expanse, the majesty, the stars, the, 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 the emptiness. Mmm, stars everywhere. I believe we're in outer space. No, duh. Almost certainly. What troubles you, Mario? Ah, yes, of course. We seem to be lacking air. You need that, don't you? Uh, oh, uh, gracious me, what am I to do? Um, uh, well, um, let me see. Uh, mm, mm, uh, mm, uh, well, uh, no! What? What happened? What happened, man? Hey. Please wake up. What happened? You're alright, aren't you? Oh, thank goodness. I don't really know how I got us all out of there. It just sort of happened. We won't last out there as we are. Perhaps we should ask Merlin's advice. Wow, that, that worked perfectly because, I mean, the episode, I didn't really, I thought it would be a little bit long with us doing a full level, but this way we get to get whatever we need. I'm presuming uh, a fishbowl on our head, shoutouts to uh, Super Mario Sunshine, and then we can head back out there, maybe? But yeah, that's that's actually a perfect way to spend the rest of this, the time in our episode. So let's go talk to Merlin, or Sean Connery. Hey, buddy. Oh ho, that was certainly quick, quick work. You've already found the next pure heart? No, Merlin. The door led us straight into outer space. Space? 
Oh, I imagine that was an unwelcome surprise. Yes, there was no air, so Mario and his friends couldn't breathe. What do we do? Hmm. Well, if you had a space helmet, you would be alright, I imagine. I mean, besides the fact that space is a vacuum, and, uh, well, I don't really have to go further with that, because it, it would vacuum out your body. And you have one? You know those space bags? That's why they're called space bags, because they vacuum, and you'd look like a uh, clothes stored in those. Of course I don't have one, but I imagine that even something like a space helmet would suffice. So, a fishbowl. I just so happen to... Oh, blast it. What now? Oh, double blast it all. I've cleaned out my shelves the other day. Yes, I had the perfect thing, but I was making space, and I gave it to someone in town. To who? Oh, just some random boy. He seemed more it seemed more convenient than recycling it. You must find that boy and explain the situation. Get it back from him. Okay. Uh, so we need a fishbowl. A very, or either that or a very valuable space helmet that was given to a chi a tiny child. Uh, let's go through here because we'll let's see. Where does this bring us? Um, I believe that it's over here. And if if he if it is, I will flip my lid. I will totally flip my lid. Is it over? Oh my word! It's over here. What is this? I haven't watched the let's play the let's play of this game in like years, and I remember it. Ah, uh, memories. Huh? Did Merlin give me something like a helmet? You mean this fishbowl? Oh, I was also right about the fishbowl. Yeah, I kept I kept Captain Gills here in a cup. But he gets too big for it. Yeah, that's why I got real happy when I got this fishbowl. Thing is, now Captain's so big, the bowl gets too small for him. Hey, I know. Maybe you could find a nice place to set Captain Gills free for me. Captain deserves freedom. Then you get the fishbowl. That's good, huh? Hmm, but where can he go? I want to know he'll be all nearby at all times. You've got to help me. <laughs> you can't use this yet. Finds the place to release the fishes. Okay, and you know what? I just so happen to remember where uh, we're supposed to dump the body as well. It's... Oh my goodness. Um, Is it over here? I, I, man, like... I, I remember it. Why do I remember it? I remember dumb things, and this is one of them. Uh, and in fact, I conveniently set up a pipe here this episode. So let's just go through here... And it will drop us, I believe, right next to where we need to go. No, a floor below, but that's... These are these are details that we don't need to sweat, because we can just head through this door. And... I, if I recall, the water is just right here. This looks like a good place to release the captain. Release the goldfish here? You bet. And now the fishbowl is empty! That means you can use it as a space helmet! Now we can go to space. So let's head back to that door. Um, I actually want to head down and see Fishy. Oh, there's Fishy! I believe actually he grows. I think. I don't know what becomes of him when he grows, but you can come here and see him grow, so... That's a thing. Also... Uh, that... Okay, let's go see Merlin first before I call the episode, because... We maybe get to brilliantly see uh, Mario put this thing on before I, I end it. And that would be amazing and a good thumbnail. So, let's see, Merlin was over to the right? Uh, no, he's, he's up another floor. Yeah, because we're, uh, we're on the stinking base fl basement floor, man. He was this way. And up the stairs we go. In here. He should be right in here. Yes, he is. Let's talk to him. Oh, you got it back. It might smell a little fishy, but not to worry. Well, be careful out there. And that's all he has to say. All right. Uh, with that, I believe that we have reached time, or at least uh, a little bit more satisfactory length of episode. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Super Paper Mario Tuesdays and Thursdays. Saturdays are periodically ABOs. And I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Super Paper Mario. Where we will head back through that door and you guys can get your second glimpse at, uh, at space, space, space.